Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you two extremely useful effects for editing voiceovers inside of Audacity. So assuming that you already have some voiceovers recorded, whether you recorded it in Audacity or you're just bringing in the audio files, you may likely end up with some results kind of similar to this, where you have two things. One, some background noise that you might like to get rid of, and two, you may have long gaps in your speaking between when the last word was said for one phrase or sentence and the start of the next phrase. So just for reference, let me go ahead and play this little audio clip, and then I'll show you what happens after we use the truncate silence effect and noise reduction. This is a test on recording audio. Let's remove the background noise and use the truncate effect. So in order to remove the awkward and useless silence from our audio clips, Audacity can actually automatically figure out where those silence parts are. So we need to select all of our audio information. I'll hit Control A in order to do that. And then we can go up to the effect menu and look for truncate silence right around here. So with truncate silence, you can set a decibel threshold. So I would say that the defaults here are going to work fine. The background noise here is definitely way below negative 20 decibels. So the duration here refers to the minimum period of time that the audio needs to stay quiet for. In this case, 0.5 seconds of negative 20 decibels or below that. And then it's going to take the action of truncating that period, that block of time where the audio is quiet to 0.5 seconds. So if we want to shrink the gap between our speech even more, we can lower this down. Let's go ahead and hit OK with the defaults and we can see how it is currently. So I'll go ahead and play it one more time. This is a test. And as I mentioned, if that gap is still too big for you, hit Control Z to undo and then we'll go to truncate silence again. And we can shrink this truncate duration to something like 0.25 seconds, cut it in half. And now the gaps should be much closer together. So I can hit play and we can listen to the whole thing again. This is a test on recording audio. Let's remove the background noise and use the truncate effect. So hopefully you can see how that can get rid of a lot of dead space really quickly and automatically. Now, of course, we also have another really common problem, which is that the recording has some background noise in it. So in order to remove background noise with Audacity, we need to select part of our recording that only has background noise in it. So it shouldn't have any of the talking we actually want to keep. We're basically taking a sample and I will start from right about here and go back to the start. So you see this is just background noise, there's no speaking. And now we can go up to the effect menu and go to noise reduction. We need to get the noise profile. So we're telling Audacity what we want to filter out. So let's get that noise profile. Now we select everything in our audio track, control A, go back to the tool effect noise reduction. Usually I find the results you get just with the default settings pretty good. Uh, if you need to remove more background noise, you can always increase the noise reduction so it lowers the decibels in those areas where it detects that noise profile even lower. But we'll go ahead and hit OK here. And what you should notice is that your audio track has the audio level shrink, but the main areas where it should be focused on should be those background noise areas. So if you still see a lot of the background noise coming through, you can always hit Control Z, select the area with the most noise, like right here. I'll hit play and you can go to effect noise reduction, get the noise profile, select everything, try it one more time. So effect noise reduction and let's go ahead and apply it. And now this time you can see how it actually got this area a little better because we use that as the noise profile. And we can go to the start, listen back to our entire track and see how it has improved with those two effects. So let's go ahead and hit play. This is a test on recording audio. Let's remove the background noise and use the truncate effect. All right, so I would say we got some pretty good results there. One last thing I would mention though about the truncate effect is that if you're extracting audio from a video and you need that audio to still be synced up with the original video, then you may not wanna use the truncate effect in here because using the truncate effect would mess with the timing uh, of the audio. So I would only use the truncate effect if I was doing a voiceover. And then I was going to edit the video so that it lined up with the voiceover rather than the voiceover being part of the video, like a character in the video actually talking or a screencast like this. But that aside, I hope that learning about these two effects inside of the Audacity Audio Editor has been useful for all of you. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I will see all of you in my future video content.